Could you tell me why Kupka is important? Kupka is important because it was the first abstract, ab abstract, uh, abstract painter. Um, the beginning of the 20th century, um, before Kandinsky and um, Andrian. But why is it forgotten in a way? Oh, it's not forgotten. It's uh, less known than uh, Mondrian or Kandinsky or Malevich. Or, but, uh, or um, Picabia even. Even Picabia, yes. But Picabia is, is famous, more famous for the Dadaist period than, uh, than Kupka. And uh, perhaps it's less known uh, for um, his personality. Um, it was... Um, a secret person mm. and um, and such a secret character. He, um, he disdains um, commercial links and um, and was more an intellectual character. Uh, mm -hmm. More secretive yes. and discreet. Yes. He was not interested by success. No, I don't think so. And uh, no, but he produced a lot. Yes, and um, and he painted uh, more than five hundred paintings, and he was a great drawer too. And um, but um, he um, he was um, he was actually a friend of uh, the Duchamp brothers. And, uh, and he was pushed by, by them. To sell and to have success? Yes. And to show? Mm -hmm. Yes, and to show in the, in the great uh, Parisian salon, and uh, later in, uh, and in Praga, and later in New York, in uh, the great um, uh, Alfred Bar exhibition, the MoMA. In what day? In '36, in Cubism and Abstract Art, for, the, for instance. Uh, okay. And um, at this moment, he was considered as important as uh, Kandinsky, for instance. But not anymore now. Uh, not anymore now. Why? So, <laughs> <It> was that <laughs> women's <laughs> exhibition? 